What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Alpha Frog Vintage Cube Draft. It is a vintage cube, so make no mistake, we are vintage cubing. I was just talking about my haircut that's scheduled for this Saturday. Ah, oh, a tinker. Tinker, tinker, little stinker. Time spiral. Oh, boy. Based on the collection of comic books behind you, would you say rhetorical Silver Surfer is your favorite rhetorical? Thank you. <laughs> Uh, would you say so we're replacing rhetorical with say thee okay so would you say say thee um Sor 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 is one of my favorite characters I think my favorite character is easily Spider-Man um I think I just have more of a nostalgic attachment to Spider-Man he's who I grew up with like Stan Lee was like a like a grandfather to me um so I like Tinker because I think it takes less build around than Time Spiral. I think a lot of people would say take Time Spiral because it just draws you seven cards and untaps all your lands. Plus we can get the Hull Breacher and be the monster in the draft. So I'm gonna take Time Spiral and we're just gonna see what happens. This is an interesting pack. Watery Grave, Shallow Grave, lots of graves. Necromancy, Death. Three Reanimate cards. Eight equals equals Qualls capital D. <laughs> Cat with two heads. Thank you for the resub. 34 months. That's like three years. I think it's probably just ponder here. Like we could take a reanimate spell, but there's a lot more reanimate spells in here. I also do like watery grave, but I don't know if I care about it with time spiral. I think it's just ponder. See, this is interesting. I feel like Jace is probably the correct play. I also like Urtai a lot. Urtai is a card that I was very reluctant to enjoy because he lets your opponent draw cards. He says they draw a card on it no matter which mode you pick. But the fact is his modes are so valuable that it doesn't really even matter. I think it's just Jace. We can just stay blue. There's no nothing in here is kind of convincing me to, to pick another color yet. Caracas is also interesting. Jace can flip and let us cast... Time Spiral again. That's not true. If we discard it, we can cast it, but we can't cast it again because it gets exiled. Oh, Cryptic Command. All right, well, now we're just now we're just squarely in mono blue here again. Spellseeker is nice, but I, I love Thank Cryptic you. Command. Oh, Josh VS, what up, my dude? Raise the volume. Volume is very low. <clears throat> for me, anyway. Probably the same for you. 54 months. It's been 84 years. If this was any blue talisman, I'd probably take it. Thirst for Discovery seems good if we are mono blue, though. Let's just draw three and discard a land. Yeah, let's take that. Okay, well, we're doing something right now. I filled up my water bottle and I was like, you know what? I also kind of want a Diet Coca-Cola. So I got one. And here we are. Well, it looks like the blue is cleared up because I don't think show and tell is for us. We could take swords and be blue-white control. I like that a lot. There's also a hollowed fountain, which means we're not going to get a hollowed fountain. Could also take, like, damnation. Yeah, the question is, do we want the fixing for the potential white card or do we want the white card? That's actually very, very good. I honestly think I like super, I, <laughs> super... I honestly think I like Swords over Hollowed Fountain. Yeah, I think I'm just taking Swords. I just feel better about it. And then there's no blue in here either, but Mirror Battlesphere could be good. It depends on what direction we go. I don't think we're an Intrepid Adversary deck, and I don't think Recruiter is really what we want to take, so I'm just going to take the Mirror Battlesphere. I think I like you too. I appreciate you, buddy. I'm glad, I'm glad we got a... Uh, I'm glad we got this friendship going, you know? Here's a Vindicate. In case we now want to be Esper. Him to Torok. That's a really late him to Torok. I think I'm taking that. <laughs> yeah, that's just pretty good. Archangel, Touch the Spirit Room. Mystical Tutor is interesting. Hmm. Having to show them what you get. Just not as good as Vampiric Tutor, obviously. Huh. <sighs> This is a tough pack. I think it's just touch the spirit realm. I don't care about mystical tutor. Oh, the watery grave came back, which is great. Cause now we can actually 
maybe legitimately play this. Urtai, okay. All right. So it looks like it looks like we have some decent a scrubland. Okay, we'll put these back. Now we're Esper. <laughs> wow, that was great. Those lands were fantastic. Those are like the best lands I could have asked for. I'll take Wandering Emperor, sure. I mean, we are an Esper control deck after all. I'm gonna put Cryptic Command back. I keep I'm I'm really starting to wonder if Cryptic Command makes the cut in the cube. Fuck, it's literally one of my all-time favorite cards. But I think it's just too hard to cast. Right, like as soon as you start going into a second and, and definitely not a third color, Cryptic Command just becomes really cost prohibitive. 100% agree with the all-time worst textless promo. It's a card I will actively not play in textless because there's just so many modes. I like Scalding Tarn, but I love Fractured Identity. Plus, we're pretty low on five drops here, so fits pretty pretty nicely there. I still think Fractured Identity is absolutely phenomenal. Man, if only that Hollowed Fountain came in. Right, you can't just be like two colors. You have to be leaning blue. Uh, three of your lands by turn four need to produce blue mana if you want it to, to cast it on curve. Which is a, that's a tall order, man. Well, I don't think we're taking Deceiver Exarch this time. And Dotha Triome is nice because it is a plains and a swamp, but I think we're going to take Seachrome Coast. I agree. Myst Mystic Confluence will likely never leave my cube. Snappy Wappy. And a Vampiric Tutor, which is pretty sweet. Snap with Fractured Identity and Ponder and him to Torok is, and Swords is pretty good. I feel like we do have a pretty decent Snap deck here so far. I do like Vampiric Tutor a lot. I just don't feel like we have the goods yet. Also, Bitter Triumph. If Bitter Triumph comes back, that'll be great. I mean, I love Vampiric Tutor. Don't get me wrong. <sighs> It hits anything you want. Like, you ever been in a position where you're like, man, I hope I top deck that card? Vampiric Tutor lets it happen. Yeah, I'm going to take Vampiric Tutor. <laughs> I, can't. I, I, I think it's just, oh, Treachery? Sure. I like taking the cards that take their stuff. I like Fractured Identity. I like Treachery. Yeah, if Duress or Skyclave comes back, or, or Lingering Souls, I think it's that'd be great. I don't think it will. What do we got here? This is a 4-4 four, for four, 5 with Flying and Lifelink. When it attacks, each opponent discards a card. It's pretty good. For each opponent who can't, you draw a card. And then whenever an opponent discards a land, you, you make a bat. And then when it dies, it just comes back. Maybe we try this guy out. I picked up one of these for my cube. I, I like to pick up all the cards that I might put in my cube. I have a huge box of of like a maybe board for my cube with like all the cards that could make it in. We can also just take Toxic Deluge, which is probably the correct pick, but this guy is like the cool pick. I would say it's double blue, but we're already playing him to Torok. I think it's got to be Toxic Deluge, and then we just hope Aklazots comes back. Oh, I think we take this. This hits Scrubland. I would like a Deep Cavern Bat, but I think having a, a, a White Fetch Land is probably better. I, I did like Mana Confluence. I just... Oh. Oh, we're definitely taking True Name Nemesis here. I like Ledger Shredder. Knight's Whisper is nice, but True Name is an actual beating. Oh, Steam Vents, why couldn't you be? Oh, Black White Talisman is actually pretty decent here. I like ramping to four and, and five. Yeah, I'll take a Talisman of Hierarchy, sure. Mm, island and Swamp. And I, this is an island swamp that we can actually get with Arid Mesa, which is actually pretty good. All right. Yeah, that seems great. It makes our Arid Mesa into a tri land. I do like a Shouldred's Edict. 
Let's go with that guy. Oh, Bitter and Snapcaster came back. Holy crap. Holy snap. Yeah, we're definitely taking Snapcaster here. Like, if we just get Time Walker Ancestral, it's just... Oh, and Lingering Souls. Okay, so we get, we're basically getting everything back that we wanted. Cool. Fantastic. <laughs> it really feels like we just got two picks from every pack right there. I'm going to be honest. I don't even think we're playing. Like, this doesn't have... We have no interactions with Time Spiral. Like, I just don't think we're a Time Spiral deck right now. Also, Mana Base is looking decent right now. I mean, obviously, I knew this guy was coming back, but I definitely didn't think Lingering Souls, Bitter Ordeal, and Snapcaster were coming back. I mean, obviously, we had to take the Snapcaster, but... I mean, this is a pretty decent selection of cards for a second pack. Yeah, I'll just take Green Sun. Sure. And an Inspired Vantage. Insp oh, and a Mox Pearl. Sure. Why not? <laughs> All right. Well, feeling good about our, our choices so far. Yep. That's decent. What are we passing? Bloodstained Mire, Creeping Tar Pit. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. Just going to take Mox. sure <laughs> oh yep you got it oh that's weird there's no mock sapphire in this pack strange okay cool <laughs> oh lord yep that's a good one i like lauren i also just like verdant catacombs verdant verdant can get watery grave scrubland and Xander's Lounge right now. So that seems pretty good. We're definitely taking the Verdant Catacomb here. Like, we have 19 cards. I don't care about Probe. I, I just think I'd rather have better land than... um, Like a card like Probe. Yeah, I think I'm just taking Dark Slick Shores again because of the land. I don't like having Sea Chrome and Dark Slick. I just don't like fast lands. I would much rather they be check lands. Even even pain lands I would rather have, to be honest. I recently put pain lands in my cube uh, instead of the check lands because I added a bunch of Eldrazi and colorless cards. Uh, I like Kaito. Just making some drones. Uh, I don't know if I care about damn that much. It probably will. It'll probably come back. Una's Prowler doesn't do anything. And Dural is not the best. Yeah, I'll just take another Planeswalker. We have two mocks and we have a Talisman. Like, this is an easy turn two or turn three play for sure. So. I do like a Time Warp, especially with a Snapcaster Mage. I wish it was time walk instead, but it's not. But if I have a, cho have a choice of Teferi or time walk, time warp, I'll just take time warp. Huh. Chupacabra. What is Luris getting back here? Jace, Snapcaster. Can you kick things if you cast them with Luris? Someone let me know. We don't have a great set of options here. I might just take the sneak attack. Yeah, I, whatever. We need we need two playables. <laughs> like I think we're I think we're fine. I almost I almost just drank this upside down. Good lord. Wow, we just picked up Sneak Attack and now we're getting passed through the breach. That sure is something, isn't it? 
and we don't have any any real way to uh to take advantage of those that's unfortunate yeah i think it is just liliana i do like charter course as well But I do think Liliana is stronger. Oh, look, Smuggler's Copter. Recently unbanned Smuggler's Copter. Well, this pack is pretty bad for us, unfortunately. I mean, Smuggler's Copter is fine, but we have six creatures and a Lingering Souls. And a Wandering Emperor and a Kaito. Eh, it's the only, it's the only option in this pack, so I'm not really going to waffle on it too hard, but... Liquor Wisp is interesting. <clears throat> Savannah. It's probably just Revoker here. We don't have any combos with Heliod, right? Eh, Ranger Captain. None of these packs are... Oh, Dam came back. That's actually the perfect last play -all. Okay, sure. Wow, I said it would come back, and it did. Okay, so we can get rid of this. Get rid of Luminarch. Get rid of Ranger. Heliod and Ranger. And I think this is it, right? Like, we play... the. All these are great. These are good. Any touch, there's... Yeah, this is good. These are good. Yeah, and so both Dam and Torok could be potential four drops if we want them to be. This is probably going to be a two drop more frequently. <clears throat> yeah, and then we got the two Moxes. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. We could even just play Mirror Battlesphere as a guy. Play him as a man. Yeah, I, I think this card's great. The only thing better is if it was an instant, but I think that might be too good, so. Oh, yes, the double on color mox again. A classic. Do we have anything that goes with Mirror Battle Sphere? Not really. Like, there's no way to reanimate it or cheat it out. Even if we got Tinker, this still wouldn't be a great Tinker deck, but I guess we'd be looking at different cards in that in that situation, so that's not really <clears throat> a fair assessment. Um, I think this is probably fine like this. So we'll play this, 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 this. Okay, so we're basically splashing white even though we have a double white guard. I still think it's good enough to play, and I think our white mana is probably going to be fine. So for white sources, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll say eight, sure. Blue sources, Arid Mesa can get Xander's Lounge. So one, two, three, four, five, six, nine. Okay. <clears throat> Black, we have one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think we cut one of these, add one of these. This is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is ten, ten, eight. Sure, that seems great. All right. <clears throat> Don C Dumble on color mocks. <laughs> yeah, they they do they do call me that. That's true. Okay, we're playing first. How many mocks can we get? Just the one? So good with it. Arid Mesa gets us Xander's Lounge, so that's pretty good. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, main, we're gonna go get Xander's Lounge. I don't have any interest in, this is two out of three black, which is nice. If we hit one more black source, we can Torok with Kicker on turn three. Yield until the end step. Okay, okay, I see what you're, see what you're putting down here. Can't do anything. We can Vampiric Tutor for the other mocks. Huh. Huh. That doesn't do much, though. It does let us play this on turn, next turn, on turn the next turn. Is that good enough, though? It also just gives us five mana to Treachery. Because, like, right now we have nothing to do. Do we just want to go get something to do? Because, I mean, they do have... No, they they have two blue sources just sitting there. <sighs> Not very good, is it? We only have one blue. Maybe we want to get Watery Grave? Nobody's doing anything here, so... I'm tempted to do something here. Let's go see what we can get. So whatever we get has to cost four mana. Can't be double blue. Could just play Wandering Emperor. And then EOT. Maybe play Wandering Emperor. That's actually not bad. Yeah, I can I can I can get down with that. They have six cards that haven't done anything yet. This guy's definitely getting resolving. Urtai? Pile on. Okay. <clears throat> Come on, Papa needs a black source. That's not a black source. Papa needed another black source or a fifth mana to take a time warp. That's unfortunate. <clears throat> I feel like our deck has an abundance of two and three drops, but it's another situation where like, we're seeing them in the wrong order. Okay. I guess we're vamping again. Hmm, that's rude. Fascinating. Horse of Will. Okay. Hmm. Things are happening. Okay, well, they're tapped out, so that's good. And they just played a Force of Will. So we can Treachery take their Bowmaster if we hit a land, which we did not. Heaven forbid we had a fifth land. That would have been... <laughs> it's like... Added a tenth blue source. I guess uh, I guess we don't need that. Yeah.
Okay, they didn't do anything, and they only have two cards in hand. Oh my god. Is this even the play? I might just be touch the spirit. Oh man, what a hero. What? Wow, Michael just got me a frozen Coke from the McDonald's without even saying anything. Oh my god. I'm just gonna get rid of this guy. I'm like a grandpa when it comes to frozen Cokes. It's like my little, it's like my go-to treat, you know? Who has the better 2-2 two -two token with Vigilance that starts with S? I believe it's them. <sighs> Whoa, Strider. Okay. I mean, any land, a black source would be great. A blue source would be great. <laughs> I don't know how good that is. I guess it's good if we're just trying to like get rid of the cards in their hand. Like we can easily discard Lingering Souls here. I think we just discard Torok here. Double Lingering so Soul seems better than like Torak when we have Lily on and out to get rid of there. Oh, that's interesting. Who was it? Mark, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. This spirit token's gonna get out of hand though, huh? Maybe we treachery it, you know? Okay, Snapcaster for Pylon, sure. Can you convoke from the graveyard? Sure seems like it. <clears throat> All right, so they have no cards in hand. Man, if we draw a damn, that would be great. We actually have the mana for it, too. We have the... Treachery is worse than Woe's Rider. <laughs> is that true? <laughs> what if we steal their Woe's Rider? Oh, it's true in the sense that, like, they just sack their... Yeah, I see what you're saying. I'm just going to chump here and take two. Yeah, no, I, what? <laughs> I don't know how Convoke using the tap, so I don't know how that would matter. Okay, so that is another black source, but we don't really need it anymore. Our hand is definitely better once we start getting. Oh, no, not not like even if they couldn't tap the Snapcaster, I was just I mean, like they could still tap the other creatures. It's not like they needed a creature that came into play that turn. <clears throat> yeah, obviously, Convoke doesn't use a tap symbol. That's that's, <laughs> that's oh, man. Sometimes I get overly amused at things that are like directed at me that like. That I would be expected to obviously know. You know what I mean? Like, that seems like such an easy rules interaction that it's it, it amuses me that, like, the idea that I wouldn't know that. You know what I mean? Because there are some weird alternate costs that you can't... that you can't pay when you... when you snapcast or, like, when you can... when you, uh... flash something back. So, like, for... for Force of Will, for example, like, you can't exile a blue card and pay a life and then cast it from your graveyard with Snapcaster. This guy's really getting bigger. He's growing up so fast. Resto, blinking, Snapcaster, that doesn't do anything. Blink Woe Strider, sure. Did you know that creatures with haste can tap and attack the turn they enter the battlefield? I actually did not know that. Is that a new rule? Can a flashback spell use Convoke? That's that's correct. Yes, that was the question. Not can 
creatures who just enter the battlefield convoke. That's where the that's where the disconnect was. That's interesting. I just came back and it said my 23 month sub anniversary, so I shared it, but I think the actual subscription is coming back in five days. Twitch is just going, the, you're like, I know the exact date that the, the sub is coming back, so I don't know why it's telling me early. So they have one card and we just get to make him discard it? That's pretty cool. What if this guy ends up being really good? Dang. I like it when creatures like this that are good end up being good. I, I know it's probably like, it's never going to be a top pick in a vintage cube, right? But that makes me sad. Okay, that's a, that's a playable card. If we hit a land, I guess we're not because they're, they're definitely discarding. So we'll see. Discarded Grave Titan. Hmm, that's fascinating. I'm fascinated. They also had one black, so they couldn't cast it either. So that's funny. Okay, well, I guess we're... We just play Kaito and draw a card? Like, they have so many things right now. Dude, a second blue here. We just get to go Time Warp and then do it again and then Treachery something. Or we can Treachery and then Time Warp. That's even better. We just take the Woe Strider because Woe Strider is each... It's like another creature, right? Yeah, can't sack itself. Like, Kaito just dies if we play it. Yeah, I feel like if we draw one one blue source, like, the game is probably over. Yeah, you're supposed to come home, right? She said she was leaving at like... Hold on. Hold on, just checking this. She said she was like, I'm leaving at like 2.15 or something. 2.45, okay. Well, they're in top deck mode. Did they put a card? Wait, where'd they go? They put it on the bottom, so this is definitely top deck mode. And we're definitely just blocking these forever. She might stop at the mix. She might. She's been trying to cut back on the fast food. Whoa, Strider, make another, make another goat. You know what? Sure. If it gives me a blue source, we'll call it even. They have one card. I guess we can attack first. Oh, discarded a land, so we make a little baddie. Why didn't they play that? Oh, because I guess we don't... They'd rather us have a bat than us draw a card, I guess, was the... And now they just sack it. Sure. So no no life gained. All right. Well, this game is kind of grindy. And I expect it would not be so if another blue was present somewhere. Watch, it's going to be three blue sources. You know what? I'll take two blue sources. Is this a blue source still? Mm, I don't think so with Watery Grave and Xander's Lounge here. So I think we're actually putting this, this, and this... No shuffle. Play this. Crack it for that watery grave. Yeah, great. Take it. Kaito. Let's use that for a black so we're not dealing damage to ourselves. Okay, so we have three blockers. We can go block, block, block. 
let's make this guy unable to attack. And that actually puts us in pretty good position, I believe. So now we can go chump, chump, block. Yeah, chump, 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 block. Block, chump, block. You know how it goes. You know what I'm saying. This isn't, it's not rocket science here. Man, this ain't rocket surgery, okay? Now I want the McD. So here's the thing. I ate very little fast food before me and Katie were together. But Katie absolutely loves garbage food. Not like food that's, well, I guess kind of food that's bad for her, But like just low tier food like Kraft Mac and Cheese, hot dogs, fast food. She just fucking loves it. It's like her favorite thing. White bread. <clears throat> She doesn't eat a ton, though, so she can get away with it. But the problem is, like, she's like, hey, you want anything from McDonald's? And I'm like, I never did. But maybe I'll be like, yeah, give me, like, a fries and, like, a drink. That's fine. Okay, this is good. That was a good top deck. Yep, get that gravy tea. Thankfully, they can only make two guys. This is They have no cards in hand. We're going to be able to treachery. So if we treachery the gravy tea, it's only going to be a removal spell. Alternatively, we can treachery the woe strider, untap time warp. And I th yeah, I think we're just doing that because that just wins us the game, right? That's six and six. Oh, wait, does he, does he just, he just dies now, right? Oh no, he comes back. I see. All right, so this this game's I believe this game is now over. <clears throat> so we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Treachery on Woe Strider because it's the only creature they can't sacrifice. Star Wars. And then we just attack for six in the air and then six in the air. Yep, sounds good. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three. Target myself. Okie dokie. That was pretty good. All right. So, ended up winning, even though that game was exhausting. And we got stuck on four lands for about 20 turns. Um, yeah, I think we're just going to submit. I don't really... They didn't have a ton of creatures with activation costs. They didn't have a ton of Planeswalkers, so... I haven't eaten junk food in years. My sister's boyfriend even asked me, dude, how can you live like this? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Like, I I don't have anything against, like, junk food. I, I, I enjoy it every now and then. So here, Burden can get a... So we have two blue, we have two black. I think we just need to get a white source so we can get a scrub land. Often I would get a Xander's Lounge, but I think we just want a, a white, at least one white source. I think we only have one double white card, so that... There it is. <laughs> there it is. Um, We'll just lead with this guy, and then we can get a Scrubberino next turn. Yeah, every every drink I drink is, is zero or zero calorie, usually. It's either Diet Coke or water. Like, those are my two drinks. 
Mana Vault on turn dose. Oh, an identity. Yeah, Coke Zero, Diet Coke. It's all the same to me. I do prefer Coke Zero, but we keep Diet Coke in the house because Katie likes Diet Coke. She's not a big Coke Zero fan. I don't mind Diet Coke at all. I think it's totally fine. So it's like the it's pretty easy compromise. I sacrifice nothing by going with Diet Coke, but she actively just doesn't like uh, Coke Zero. What about this guy? Oh, they have Damnation, don't they? That's okay. Hmm. I agree. I think zero is better than diet. I also think diet soda in general is a pretty much acquired taste. Like when I started drinking it, it was okay. But now it's like it tastes actively better than regular soda. If I like have a regular soda, I'm just like, this is disgustingly sweet. Um, I think we can just pitch lingering souls here. This, see, this is the amount of, now they're like, oh, you wanted blue and black sources, huh? I'll give you blue and black sources. Gee, thanks. I guess we can actually try to loot away a land with Jace and see if we can hit a white source. Diet cake Coke tastes like aluminum, in my sincerest opinion. That's funny. I've no, I, I mean, I've, I, I've tasted aluminum. I've never felt like Diet Coke tastes like aluminum, though. Torox Dread Canter. Hmm. I think that's what we're going to try to play here. One, two, three, kick it. They don't even have counterspell mana. Oh, wow. We hit a snap and a chart. Okay. Two blue cards. And we just booked tickets to Florida today so we can go see my parents for the first time in like four years. Okay, this game feels like it's over. Unfortunately. Or fortunately, you know, it really depends on how you look at things. Are we expecting an Orcish Bowmasters? Let's attack first. Fascinating. Well, I can loot here. Mox Jet. I'm just pitching Mox Jet. I don't need a fifth land. Just play Kaito, I guess? I don't know. Make a drone, I guess. I don't know. I don't know, man. Okay. Glad I made a drone, you know? I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that was not, not the game I was hoping it would be. Griffosaurus, if you ever watch... Good games. All right, we're in round. We have double blue card, double black card, double black card, a Jace, and a Dam, and our lands are Swamp Plains. 
It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, Argentina. Huh, interesting. I wonder if the I wonder if the Coke quality is different in Argentina. That's the funny thing, because like I think I think sodas have pretty extreme variations wherever you go. Like Mexican Coke in the bottle, for example, tastes fantastic. I'm gonna mulligan this hand. It doesn't do anything. This is better though, you know. Um I'm going to pitch one land. Is that greedy? We'll pitch Deluge. We don't know if Deluge is even any good here. Yeah, it's Canada. Canada's Coke has maple syrup in it. <laughs> wow, Mark. That was surprisingly Canadian SW. Unbelievable. Oh dear. No, oh, we're gonna have a bad time. Oh, we're gonna have a good time. Hey, everybody's having a good time. Look, we both had mediocre turn two plays that will set us up for the rest of the game. Beautiful, beautiful. Wait, great. We use tons of sugar here because we have a lot. They're like, no, oh, we got it. Just keep putting it in, I guess. I'm going to ponder two lands and an Al Aklazots. I always want to say Alkazots, but it's Aklazots. I actually don't hate this. We can play a land, then we play Alkazots. Al 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 <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, this guy, and then we'll put this on top. We will not shuffle. And it also gives us an extra. Why don't I just play this so I could thirst? What the hell? Why did I do that? That was terrible. We knew we were drawing the land. I, I, my, my intention was to draw the the basic with thirst and then thirst. So I, I just got, I got all Alcazots in my head, you know? Sure, you got it. They're like, why didn't you play this, idiot? You have a thirst for discovery in hand. Don't worry about it. It's none of your business. You wouldn't understand the sophisticated plays that I'm making. Also, this guy just turns into a land if they kill it. And then you get, he gets to come back. Transform it. Actually, the player has one or fewer cards in their hand and only has a sorcery. Okay, so I get a land. Great. Great. They're cycling their land to get a an island. Beautiful. They were like, I was missing an entire color. I understand. I know how it feels. Fantastic. <laughs> if they don't play anything else, though, that's fine. You know, okay, they didn't. Here comes the Grave Titan, or a Inferno Titan, or nothing. That's that's the other thing I was thinking. Is it only as a sorcery? So like during your turn, they have to they have to have that. That's weird. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven, so we can actually thirst and Urtai. That's pretty good. I'm a fan. Oh, it counts for us, too. If a player has one or fewer. Oh, I like that. Huh. This is interesting. I wonder what the play is here. I don't want to thirst to give them access to more cards, but then, like, we would get access to more cards as well. Like, I think the card quality in my hand is so good right now that adding two more cards is just fine, especially since... By not doing this, they could take it, and then we just don't have access to those cards. We did not hit a basic land, unfortunately. That is sad. So we'll get rid of Verdant, and probably... That's pretty rough. It might just be Urtai.
I mean, her hand is pretty good. I'm very tempted to fracture identity this. We get our card back and we get to see one of their cards. It's not the most impressive fractured identity target, but. And that's what they took. Fascinating. Yep. Yeah, I didn't think countering the bat was that good. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but... Like, I just feel like we can get rid of... We had other ways to get rid of this, I felt like, with Fractured Identity, or, like, I figured he might draw something. But, like, having Dam here is... Pretty good. Um, do I just time warp here? We could also no, we can't treachery that, unfortunately. We could just true name Nemesis here and then save time warp. That seems better. Bone Crusher to the face. I mean, I guess they're like, well, if I'm going to play it anyway. Oh, they're just, they drew something better. Sure. <laughs> Fractured consistently better than Treachery, interestingly enough. I mean, we can just Treachery this Grief now and then Time Warp. That seems good. Although they do have a blue up now. This is a tough, tough call for him. Animate dead in the trash can. Got it. One of my biggest fears is accidentally clicking through the treachery ability and then not being able to untap. So one, two, three, four, five. We're actually one mana shy of flipping this. We can go one, two, three, untap, and then we have one, two, three, four. That's pretty decent. All right, I feel like we're in good shapes, presuming they don't have a removal spell, like a big fat Wrath of God or something. Damnation. <sighs> that seems less likely, though. So we have lethal on board. They can't block any of our creatures. Getting back, what is that? Gristlebrand? Sure. Well, that's pretty good. And they get the initiative. <laughs> um. So if I exile Gristlebrand, they draw seven for free, basically. 
I think we're just going to pass here. I don't want them to have access to the cards they draw. That was a good draw. No, I don't like it. Oh, I see. Well, now we're definitely going to... I'm not going to take seven. Because now you're just going to gain the life either way, so... Hmm, give me my seven cards. If they draw seven, they still die if they don't hit an answer, and they only have one black to utilize an answer, so... Yeah, that's why I didn't think they were going to draw. Because I'm like, if they don't hit something that can remove one of my three creatures, then they still die. So that was actually pretty reasonable. Huh. That's also pretty good. I mean, it's interaction, you know. Oh, we get to draw or make a bat. Make a bat. If they can't discard, that's when we draw. Oh, and we get the initiative. Beautiful. Let's get black, 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 white, white, white. Let's get another black. Is there any benefit to playing that? Not really. I mean, they could from the catacombs to get Deep Cavern Bat back, which I think that's what they're doing. I feel like they didn't draw anything. Yeah. Oh, they're getting R Urtai. Mm. Sure, that's fine. What are they going to hit? Treachery? Aklazots? Wait, what is this? Why is this on the stack? Oh, because they played from the catacomb, so they got the initiative back. I was like, it's not their upkeep. And they didn't attack me, so how did they get the initiative? From the Catacombs is a very good card. Two counters on your gentleman. You got it. So they're also going to play Bone Crusher? Maybe? Oh, big snapper for fractured. Oh boy, this is something. Hmm. Why didn't they play? I'm curious why they didn't play Bone Crusher. I bet they have some sort of shenanigans. Hmm. In combat, do we just... I mean, like... Swordsing that guy is not... the best option that we have. I don't... You gotta have removal, right? That is fine. So this is still six, seven damage you're taking. So you gotta have a little removal. I mean, we're definitely snapping time warp. Oh, a little Coca-Cola Gons command. 
And you return the bat to your hand. So they're taking four. Yeah, that's fine. It does, nothing matters, really. Uh, Forge. On the little bat arena. A smooth time warp. Oh, just, we just win the game. That's all you need to do. He's like, mm, I get it. What do they have? What does, does a revoker do much? It's all grief, deep cavern bat. Smuggler's copter. Roker name is you are already dead. <laughs> Does it? I don't think it, I don't think. Is that a card? I don't know what's going on. I don't want to add basic lands. What are you doing? Get out of here. I'm good. I'm ready to go. Okay, so no black sources. Boy, they've really they've really been really giving with the, the the lands they're giving me. I also have two moxes in the deck. I don't know if I I forgot to I don't know if I boarded them out. Yep. All right. So we both went to six. It's a decent six if we hit any land in the in the first two turns for Jace. I'm gonna keep it based on that. I'm gonna put back touch. You got it. It's like, let me see what you kept. Don't look. Oh, we're so good at this game. We're going to show them the land they know so that they can be, they can rage when they see the, the land they don't know. Oh, dang it. I mean, they're just going to kill this guy, I'm sure. They're going to shoulder the edict him. They just they just slammed. Yeah, they, they F6, and then at the end they were like, no, F5, so I can kill it immediately. Hmm. That's fascinating. I'm surprised you don't just slam a Bone Crusher giant here. Okay. Well. <laughs> nah. Any land would have been great. We could thirst, we could deluge, we could pray for a black source for a Liliana. You know, those are our options. You ever just have a flat tire and get stranded at the discount tire store? <laughs> well, when you're at the discount tire store, usually it's because you're stranded in some way. Whether you're getting new tires, whether you're getting oil changed, you know. Being at the discount tire store fantastic um you know it kind of presupposes stranding babe i'm really sorry that you got flat tire i it i promise you it was not one of my screws from my from the garage you know i really wanted to toxic deluge these guys but oh my god <laughs> Okay, the first time it wasn't a screw, it was a nail. And then she went to the tire place and they were like, yeah, it looks like a woodworking nail. And so she comes home and she's like, they said it was a woodworking nail. And I'm like, I don't even own any nails. There's no nails used in woodworking. 
I'm not a carpenter. I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not doing roofing here. So this time it was a screw. I'll just take five. Oh, they got a gristle brand in the graveyard. Yeah, I'd rather save the swords for the gristle brand or the treachery. Huh? We're way far away from that. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna, uh, we're not dead. <sighs> Whatever. I'll get rid of this guy. What can I do? I'll take two. Sure. Yeah, you were really mad at me because you were like, woodworking. Frank does woodworking in the garage where I keep my car. And I was like, that doesn't, no. Don't, no. Don't let them fool you. Don't let them, don't let them tear us apart. Okay, well, I, I assume this game, maybe I'll get more than two lands, right? Still no moxes, though. That's weird to me. Anyway, this hand's good enough. <laughs> Please do not park on the Baltic Birch plot. Please don't. It's it's far more expensive than it needs to be. It's like $150 a sheet, man. Come on. Where's Brett? Where's Brett Hall? He does woodworking. I'm going to check on Cupcake. Sorry, love you. Have fun. Wow. Okay. Every day I wake up and wish my wife thought my stream was more entertaining. She never does. Okay, so. What are you doing? Vampiric tutoring? Oh, you're just cycling. It's fine. I got paranoid. That was my fault, you know? Oh, God, what a... What a bummer, man. Flat tires suck. They love looting with this guy. This card's very good. I added this to my queue as well. It's just a solid two drop. It's either a two, two with haste that also has wicked roll, makes a treasure or you loot. It does anything. I don't know if it should be rare, but it's good. It's very good. That was a good draw. If we can hit a second black, I'd be I'm just going to plus one. I don't think they have a way to kill this or deal four to it this turn. If we made a drone, they could easily kill the drone and just attack Kaito, or they could just bone crusher giant Kaito. Sure. Fantastic. <laughs> that's, well, that's your play for the turn. That's fine. Black source, blue source. Never fails. Never fails. Yep. I mean, do I fracture identity this and then loot away the planes? That seems terrible. Wow, that seems really bad. Let's not do that. What if that would have won us the game? God, any black source would have been great. A swamp, scrubland, water grave, mox jet. All right, I think they're just... Not having a good mana time. Okay, well, that could still do it. It did not. Shouldered's Edict, Vampiric... These are all good cards, but they don't do anything for us right now. And to keep one, I'd have to keep all of them? Ugh. Maybe that's not terrible. Maybe we just keep the Edict. We make them sack their guy. And then we have Snapcaster and Fractured Identity. Simply having terrible mana time. <laughs> oh, God. Tutor for a Swamp does seem extreme, and I don't think I'm there yet. But the, I don't want to have to draw all these cards before getting to a Swamp, I guess. But if I just keep Shieldred's Edict Snapcaster and then have a, a Tutor coming down the hatch... Tutor does let me get rid of the two others, but it also costs me, like, a draw and, like... I agree that, like, the three of these could just be good. Fudge. This is tough, man. Like, what What if we hit, like, a random planes? Like, that's just worse than these three, right?
like we have answers for like anything they can possibly do here, I think. Like, and that's pretty important. So the thing is, we're playing this now because it basically has to kill this. They'll never sacrifice a creature that's not this. So, oh, it's Alkalazots himself. Wait, what happens if we fracture identity him? Turn the battle tapped and transform. So basically nothing. Okay. So basically when he dies, he's never going to return because he's just a t little, he's just a little token guy. Oh, they finally hit a blue source. That can't be good for us, right? Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's good. All right, well. <laughs> Urtai, killing my Aklazots that I stole from you to begin with. Everything's a two for one, right? Like, that's pretty good. Oh, that's actually perfect because now we can vamp this turn. Oh, that's nice. What do we get though? Second black doesn't seem that exciting. Do we have anything that costs like six that's really good? I don't know. Hmm. It, actually, a black source might be fine. It lets us play this guy and if they play Gristlebrand, we have Fractured Identity plus Snapcaster and the seven mana. Two, three, four, five. It also lets us play Ack and keep up touch in case they have an answer for it. I don't hate it. I really, I feel like I should, but I don't. Oh, I would, oh man, I got excited about Torok and then I was like, wait, one black source, not three black sources. Got it. Um, I was gonna, I was excited about Liliana too for the same reason, but that doesn't work either. So I guess we're just taking Scrubland. That's so unexciting. But it is what it is. Nope, that should be black. Black. One, two, three. So if they try to kill this, we can blink it, which is pretty good. I feel like they're just going to play Gristlebrand somehow here. Okay, that's a lot of mana they're tapping. Seven mana. Don't like that. No, don't like that. Okay. <laughs> Instead, they'll smuggle. Yep. Looting and scooting. They were going to cast it from the graveyard, and then they're like, wait, it's in the graveyard, not in my hand. Obviously, I'm blocking this, trying to gain four life. Okay. That's fine. What is happening? If they try to kill this, we're just going to, we're blinking it for sure. Are they going to Coligons? Oh, wow. Hmm, that's interesting. We do have to discard Snapcaster for this, but I'm kind of okay with that. Unless they... <laughs> huh. This guy actually just becomes a land. Why would I blink? Like, so here's the thing. If they blink this and then they Necromancy Gristlebrand, we don't have an answer for Gristlebrand. Keeping Snapcaster... Like, just let this guy become a land. We'll discard Touch. And then we get to keep Snapcaster, so then we have an answer for... Gristle brand. They didn't, they didn't do that. So that's sad. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's not sad per se. Uh, one, two, and then one, two, three flip. And then we can still Snapcaster and tutor if we want. Hmm. 
And back he comes. All right. Well, that's good. Oh, that's sad. Well, they didn't have it last turn, and they would have played that guy last turn, so I think that's their only play here. I was like, don't be a land. It was a land. Archon of Cruelty, that's what they tried to cast. Wow. That is a beast. No, it's actually an Archon. Hmm. Fascinating. Just going to keep the land here. Wow, that hitting that Snapcaster was pretty rough. We do have the chance to get it back. Yes. Excellent. Wait, so we get to draw a card then. That's pretty good. Everything's good right now. This feels very safe. So I believe this can only get a... Sw no, we can get a Watery Grave with that, which seems nice. Um, so we can go Swords, Snap, and then either Fracture Identity or Urtai, depending on what we want to do. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Oh, what are they going to hit, I wonder? Oh, they're going to hit Fracture Identity. That's pretty sad. Yep. Wow, that was a good draw. I wonder if we have any recourse for that. Hmm. This says each opponent, doesn't it? Yep, fantastic. Wow, that's really good. I think swordsing my own guy seems absolutely horrendous. <sighs> wow, that's so good. What a top deck. Well, yes, because Swordsing the, the Bat gives us Snapcaster, which then gives us Ponder. Actually, I would Swords this, get... Oh, actually, hmm. So, I want to go Swords, Guy, Swords. No, we don't need that. So, we could actually Swords the Bat, get Snapcaster, play Snapcaster, Swords the Alkazots, Aklazots. And then we're both basically in top deck mode, which is pretty bad. Sure. That's really, that's really, that's really frustrating. Jesus. If only I had a removal spell that did not kill my own guy. Do we have anything with, we can actually, what if we vampiric for treachery? That just seems better, right? Then we just get our guy back. Yeah, that's fine. You can have it. Like they're in top deck mode. Uh, treachery. Life has no meaning. Me and beauty up above. Gonna get treacherous. Wake up, treachery. Get your guy. You like how I tap lands in such a way that, like, I don't get to untap them all? It doesn't matter. I have no cards. Neither do you. Everything's good. So if we can if we can fade a hit here, they're like, oh, necromancy, fantastic. Get my guy. Oh, interesting. Well, I'm just taking two here because I don't want to like I now I feel like they drew Bone Crusher Giant. And that's just terrible, so I will decline to block. 
Now you can chalk my stomp my face. Yeah, there you go. Wonderful. Wonderful. Them with no cards is actually fantastic because then we get to draw. Oh. Well, that's not great. I mean, I will play it. There's I was kicked Harpoon discards two cards at random. <laughs> Stop my face, Daddy. That's right. So they have no cards. Can I do this during upkeep? Does this guy have flash? No. Okay. Well, still gonna do it, I guess. Fingers crossed. We can just keep fading. Just hit a land. Just hit a land. That's all. Just hit one land. <sighs> Interesting. That guy's got first strike, though. We have five minutes. They have 12. Oh, my God. We've been lollygagging. Well, it's game three, though. Oh, it was a land. Beautiful. Oh, my God. What is? He? What are these hits, man? Torok into him to Torok? It's, it's not great. Oh, that's good. We just hit three discard spells in a row when our opponent is in top deck mode. So that's a fascinating development. Oh, no, necromancy. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, God. Phenomenal. There it is. It had to be the very last turn. Lingering souls. One, two, three. That's good. It's pretty good. So this guy, they discard, but that doesn't do anything. <sighs> then they just eat it. Yep. They're coming in with this guy? Wow, that's aggressive. I will sack a token. And then I will block. Well, they didn't have a white source for Umbrella Rite, so that's good. They can't also get Gristle Brand, as far as I can tell. But they are back up to like 1,200 life. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Unbarrel Rites into From the Catacombs. From Dire Fleet into Unbarrel into From the Catacombs. Sure. You got it. <laughs> True name nemesis. Oh, Lord. Why not? <laughs> well, I was hoping for either Dam or Toxic Deluge. No, Toxic Deluge wouldn't even do it. It's got to be Dam. Choose a player. This one. I don't know what mocks with question mark means. Yeah, they're going to put it on grief, I bet. Oh, they put it on gristle brand. Interesting. I mean, I'm just chump blocking probably. Wow, that's... Yeah, if they just activate Creeping Tarpa, we're probably just dead here. I haven't done the math, but... They, they know. They figured it out. What are we sacking? Probably Torok here, because I want two flying blockers. Okie dokie. I guess we're taking three. I don't know why they didn't alpha. I guess, I guess we just block here. And then we gain four, but take three. I don't know, but they get this guy off the board. 
Yeah, this is the woodworking stream. We're just taking a quick break. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, Lord. We're having a good time. Okie dokie. That was fun. I mean, I feel like I was doing really, really well up until they top decked four cards in a row that, would, that were just better than the three lands I hit and the three discard spells. So, what can you do? Okay, let's go. Woodworking is the best. I love spending $75 in four hours making a pen you can get on Amazon for a dollar. So, mm, that's a I that's a take I take issue with. Um, if you're making quality pens like on a lathe or anything like that, like you can sell the materials are going to cost you four bucks. Like materials to make a pen. Once you have the equipment for it, like the raw materials are very cheap, and you can sell them for like thirty to forty bucks if they're made with like real wood and you make them. Like you're talking about junk. Like I actually built my magic cabin. It's right over here. And it took me quite a bit of time longer than four hours. That's for sure. But like, I couldn't find anything like them. So I made 10 drawers and a bunch of uh, shelves on the bottom that fit my magic boxes. So it's like the perfect dimensions for what I want. And, uh, people were like, can you make some for me? And I was like, mm, I don't know. Um, I think we're just getting Xander's lounge here. And that's a turn two Liliana. It was a joke. I have a lady that I sent one to auction for charity that was MTG themed and it sold for. Well, then why? Don't do that then. Don't. <laughs> don't. Oh, man. Don't criticize woodworking. That's awesome to hear, though, man. I didn't know that. Yeah, woodworking is kind of like what I want to do next year. Once we move to California and we have a bigger space and we can afford getting me like a, a nice planer and a nice joiner, like that's actually kind of what I want to do. I think finding a job in the game industry has been exhausting. I love the game industry. Um, however, it's been really frustrating and I kind of want to be in charge of my own things. I wanted to build myself a new computer desk because I can sell with you for advice. Yeah, for sure, dude. Send me a message. I don't know if you're on social media, Gavin, but definitely just shoot me a message wherever you want to do so. So double blue is nice because we can Jace and Ponder next turn. Okay. Oh my god. If we hit a land and we can dam, oh, that's not the land we need though. Rascally rabbits. Let's Ponder, see if we can hit a white source. No white source. We could actually just play... Uh, actually, this is pretty good. We can go true name this turn into... So you, you, and you, no shuffle, play this, one, two, three, true name, choose you, next turn we're going to play Aklazots, it's legendary, they have Car Caracas, Caracas, they have Caracas. I'm not sure if I even activate Liliana because they're just going to give this guy pro white and kill her. So we're just losing a card. I'm just going to woodwork my own coffin and just keep it around. What was that? There was that. There was, what was that? There was a show that had that in there where there was just a coffin that he made for himself. I think that did happen in Dexter, actually. Yep. Look at this. Pro blue. Yep. And they made a guy out of it? Wow, that's brutal. Just brutal. Well, we know we're going to draw a swamp. <sighs> this is this is frustrating. Both of our creatures are legendary. Ugh. Do we just kill Mother of Runes here? Probably, right?
Maybe they'll forget it's legendary. I mean, we have a Kaito for next turn, too, so. Oh, dang, if they didn't forget. <laughs> it's worth a shot. You gotta shoot your you gotta shoot your your legendary shot, you know? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. I think we're just gonna plus here. Or zero here and draw a card. Okay, that's nice for next turn. Don't do anything. Why? I said don't do anything, and then you did something. That's so weird. Why would you do that? Of all the things that you could have done, you did the exact opposite of what I said not to do, and then you did it. Yep. And then, <laughs> would have plussed had I known. <laughs> okay. Well... Is there a way we can get rid of the Caracas? I don't think so, right? No. Don't like that. Oh, wow. We got rid of an Athari? Tap an untapped Rebel. Yeah, that'll never... The good thing about Athari is if they never attack with it, the likelihood of them being able to tap a Rebel is basically zero. And a Parallax Wave. Both of those are pretty impressive to get rid of. <laughs> just play... I'm just going to play them again. Whatever. It doesn't do anything. Dude, I feel so bad for Katie. She's just stuck at the tire place. Oh, you're giving me an opening. Hmm. It's not a great opening. If we had one more land, we could Jace and then Vryn's, then time, time Warp to flip Jace. I don't hate that. It does cost a turn. I guess we're just playing this guy. <laughs> Oh, man. And, of course, they use it for mana as I'm typing this. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. All right, well. <sighs> Boy, Caracas is a hell of a magic card, huh? Fantastic. I was hoping for one more land. And then they gave me that one. So that's good. Oh boy. This is a situation where they attack us with this guy and this guy and we take eight. The second black, huh? Sounds good. One, two, three, four. Didn't I already... Weird. Okay, I guess they're just attacking with seven. I'm sure they don't have a, a spell that deals us two damage, though, so that's good. Toxic Deluge. <laughs> no? Okay. Oh, they, they, they tapped their Caracas. Okay, so this is our chance, right? Oh, we get to... Actually, can we overload Dam? See, this is a, this is another one of the questions. Can we? You may cast this spell for its overload cost. Hmm, possibly. Oh, I guess they just get to bounce batter skull then. Fantastic. They had they had march as their last card. Why wouldn't they? Phenomenal. I didn't mean to reel my hand there, but that's fine, I guess. All right. Well, cool. Oh, it's, never gets easier. I mean, do I just take Aklazots out? That makes me sad. But, like, they have to draw Caracas, I guess. 
If they do, it sucks. So does Torok. So does Jace. So does Dr uh, Dr what's his name? Urti Resurrected. I guess they don't really bounce that guy. Yeah, this just I just feel like they have to draw Caracas. I do wish I had an answer. Brexian Revoker on Caracas. This is not land. Non land. Great. That doesn't work. Pithing Needle, you can crack us, right? Pithing Needle in and Revoker are, is also an interesting um It's an interesting, like I don't even know the word I want to use, but like Pithing Needle you can target lands, but it only shuts off uh non-mana abilities. So you can use it on a land and shut off Caracas. Phyrexian Revoker, you can shut off any mana abilities, but it can't be a land. So you can shut off an Elvish Mystic. Whereas Pithing Needle, you can shut off a Caracas or a Strip Mine. It's really weird. Maybe just mere battle sphere. Like we should have theoretically, we have talisman and double mocks. We should be able to get more mana faster. We also have ten blue sources, which definitely should be enough for a cryptic command. But here we are. What about luminarch aspirant? Just making our instead of like Jace. I wish we had even a single one drop for this guy. That'd be great. I mean, Aspirant on its own with Lingering Souls might be fine. Yeah, all right. Great. Exact hand we're looking for. No white sources, no ramp. Three, three, four, five, seven. Don't think this hand is good enough to keep against them. This might be better just because of Deluge. I'll keep it. We'll ship Time Warp. Also, Pro White is decent if they don't hit Caracas. So let's Mesa instantly just get Xander's Lounge. Hey, it's your mama. Mox, please. Eh, it's still a land, I guess. Like if we can go, if we can draw one more Black Source and go Liliana into Torok, it'd be nice. Well, that's not the one we're looking for, but I don't think we've drawn Mox Pearl yet. I think it's, or, or Mox Jet. I think every time it's been Mox Pearl. I don't know if Mana Tithe is in this cube or not, so I'm going to actually just play Mox Pearl. I ain't getting blown out by a, by a Mana Tithe here. Instead, I'll just get blown out by a Cathar Commando. No, nothing. Okay. Well. Oh, there's your boy. It's still not the still not the correct color. Uh huh. They have six cards. We have four cards. Then we go down to three cards. What do they get? Giver? Yeah, of course it's Giver. <laughs> Actually, like, it's another situation where I just don't think it's worth it because then we get to Toxic Deluge and Killer Guys. Or we could touch the Spirit Realm on this guy. That might be better. And then just play a land. But then what are we discarding? Torok? That seems worse. I think we're just passing and keeping up Toxic Deluge. By keeping up, I mean having access to it. Yep, this is fine. Yep. 
Yeah, this is good. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, big snapper. Sure. I mean, that's a three for one. That's the kind of advantage we're looking for here, especially with a Snapcaster into a Toxic Deluge. Othari, wonderful. That's pretty good. Hmm. That's really good. Come on, damn. Swamp. Wish I had one more land that I could Torok and a touch of spirit on. I feel like I'm one land behind every single turn. I mean, I hate to go to eight and just kill these two when they have three cards in hand. It's just a three, three. And I just can't let it stand though, right? Like we also want to play this guy after we toxic deluge. So I just feel like this has to be done. Could also touch the spirit realm on this guy. But then that doesn't let us do anything else this turn. And this guy still sticks around, so. This aggression cannot stand. Three again. All right. Oh, they didn't do anything? Well, that's phenomenal. Insta kick this guy. Reprieve. Yeah, I figured it was Resto. Oh, that's nice. And being at eight, we're definitely just going to cast this on this. Okay, they're in top deck mode. And we have a 4-3 pro-white creature. God. <sighs> Okie dokie. Mm, okay. All right, so we get to kill our next turn. They make two one ones, though. Say, so, yeah, like if we drew out Aklazots here, it'd be just fine. Do I kill one of these? Oh, God, that seems terrible. I think mean, it's a four turn clock now, though. Mm, I'd rather kill that guy, I guess. Come on, really? Why does this keep happening? <laughs> Oh, boy.
All right. This is an uphill battle for sure. I have tried to be better at top decking. It just never seems to... Oh, Caracas is nice. Great. Fantastic. <laughs> can't... Okay, you got it. There's no point in attacking because they'll just bounce it. Yep, fantastic. Sometimes it's like I, I try to feel bad about losing and then I realize like, wow, this is completely out of my control. I did literally everything I could do, and my opponent was just significantly better at the game of Magic the Gathering than I was, so. Yep. Good. Great. Solid draw. Every draw has been relevant. Archangel into Caracas into Batterskull. Great. Meanwhile, I've drawn him to Torok. <laughs> and Torok, and they It's like, okay, you got me. Fantastic. Thanks for watching. Uh, please put F's in the chat for my incredible fucking luck, and I'll see you next time.